lot of people get confused and don't trust DNA studies because they don't know the difference between genotype and phenotype, which is how you actually look. This misconception is most pronounced when it comes to mixed people, two people who are roughly three quarters European and one quarter South Saharan African, but one can more obviously show features related to African ancestry, while the other one won't be as obvious. As a result, two biological sisters of same genetic makeup can end up being categorized as two different races. This is the case for many peoples of the world who descend from ancient admixtures such as Turkic, Cushitic, and Arabic people, which is why people from these groups can have children that have vastly different phenotypes. Many of these misconceptions stem from false and debunked understanding of race, where entire humankind is split into just three types. Another instance is when similar appearing phenotypes have vastly different genetic profiles. A good example of this is South Indians, Australian Aboriginals, Papuans, and etc. People are shocked to find out that despite their phenotypes, genetically they're actually more distant to South Saharan Africans than Europeans would be. Many factors such as genetic drift, selection, and or surrounding climate can affect this. And the reason for this is that these people descend from the group of Africans that was the first to migrate out of Africa into Eurasia, causing genetic drift. They also likely retained skin tone due to migrating to areas with similar climate and also not having admixture from more recent Eurasians. If you'd like to learn from what ancestral populations you descend, click the link in the bio and purchase the report suitable for you.